clearance and there's a weight step where I'm just looking around and well I see a box of chem wipes and that got me thinking how for the longest time I thought they were chem wipes but it's actually chem wipes which is like a brand name and that got me thinking about some of the other things that we use brand names for like we call um micro centrifuge tubes Eppendorf's even if they're not made by Eppendorf and a lot of times they're not made by Eppendorf's and we call these conicals often we call these falcon um like the brand falcon tubes even if they're not made by the brand falcon and then that got me thinking about how falcon is actually spelled without an l which got me really confused when i was trying to find what the heck these things were um when i was first trying to figure out what a falcon tube is and that got me thinking about some other like naming sort of things that tripped me up before so i thought i'd just kind of like give you a whirlwind view of some of the things that you might get tripped up on some of those like insider scientific namey things some of them still trip me up but anyway, back to the chem wipes. It's kind of like Kleenex, so we call Kleenex, Kleenex, even if it's not made by Kleenex. Well, we call these things chem wipes, even if they're not made by Kimtech. But Kimtech's the brand, chem wipe is the name, and well, Kleenex like is kind of their game. So these are, you use them just like you would to like wipe things off and whatever, but they're not, so they're like Kleenex, but they don't leave all that kind of like powdery stuff around. Great for wiping off the sides of cuvettes, um, which was what I was doing while I was using them for today. Yeah, so then basically back to the naming stuff. When we say a falcon tube, we're just talking about like a conical tube. Um, so we might say like a 15 mil falcon, a 50 mil falcon. That's what we're referring to. It's just a conical tube. One of those plastic types that you go and you put in your centrifuge. Okay, naming things. RNAs and DNAs, yeah, DNAs. The A is lowercase. This one still trips me up. It always seems like it should be uppercase, um, but it's for R and um, ribonuclease. So nuclease is one word, or um, deoxyribonuclease, and nuclease is one word, not two words. Whereas this would, RNA would be like ribonucleic acid, which would be three word, three words. So there would be uppercase, but I always, always, always forget. And so RNAs, DNAs, the A is lowercase. Speaking of lower casey stuff, Western blots, the W is lowercase. So is like Northern blots, the N is lowercase. The only time you uppercase it is Southern. Southern was a dude's name, the guy that invented the Southern blot, and much more on blots and other posts, but basically these are the ways that you can detect the presence of various things, um, like DNA or proteins, like specific ones by like probing with antibodies or with labeled nucleic acids. But anyway. Southern invented this nucleic acid one to test for DNA and then other people like kind of jumped on the bandwagon and so then there were northern blots and then there were western blots. Um, I don't know the ordering of things but anyway those were just like jumping on the bandwagon and doing the whole like directional thing because it was fun but those are going to be lowercase they're not proper names so lowercase w in your western blot although you see double uh, uppercase w be used a lot as well. Final name thing and restriction enzymes. So restriction enzymes, um, restriction endonucleases, these are site-specific DNA cutters, and they are named in terms of like the bacteria that they were discovered in, and the number of the, like which, what number of the enzymes it was that was discovered. So that thing at the end, that letter at the end, is actually a number. So I always thought it was like EcoRV, and then I was in grad school, and I like said EcoRV in a group meeting, and they're like, what? It's EcoR5. That V is for five. Similarly, like BAM H H one, not BAM H I. Um, that last le letter is actually a number. So when you're speaking it out loud, you use the number. Even when you're writing it, you use kind of like the letter that means the number. So it's like a Roman numeral type thing. Moral of the story: Don't feel stupid if you like misname things or you don't know what the names of things are, and. Please forgive scientists when we kind of revert to using these things that we forget that when people are like not out in the know, they don't know and they can't know unless you let them in the know. And so 